Hi guys, welcome back to Things Tina Does. Today I want to bring you another one of our basics and this is cheesy garlic bread. So we're going to get right into it. Okay, the first thing we're going to do because I am going to be using a whole loaf of Italian bread. So the first thing we're going to do is get one full cup of butter and I'm using the stick form so we're going to do two sticks of unsalted butter. And just to make sure, I've already got it softened like to room temperature. We could probably work with it at that stage, but just to be sure that it's nice and malleable, and I do not want it melted, but just to be sure it's good and malleable, I'm going to soften it in the microwave for just a few seconds, just so that I can really, really get my spatula and my fork through it. Okay guys, now we have softened our butter a little bit in the microwave and you can see that I can get a fork through it, but it's not melty. And that's exactly what we want for this. So now we're going to set that aside and work on our garlic. Okay, for this we're going to have a couple of cloves of lard, good sized cloves of garlic. And I'm going to give those a good little mash and take the skins off. It's so much easier to get the skins off, you guys, if you just give that garlic clove a little bit of a mash first. Okay. All right, now we're gonna place that into our little garlic press. Two cloves of garlic pressed. All right, so we've got our garlic in there. We're gonna add some salt because remember that this butter was unsalted, so we're gonna add about a teaspoon of salt. And now we're gonna set that aside and we're gonna get our parsley ready. Okay guys, and just a few sprigs, you can see that's not very many, just a few sprigs of fresh parsley and we're just gonna chop that up. And we want that chopped nice and fine. All right, now we're just gonna to go to that with a fork. And there we go. That's all there is to the butter mixture. Now we're gonna get our bread ready. Easy way to do it, you guys, so easy. Cut your bread in half, right down through the middle. All right, guys, now take half of your butter, put it on half of the bread, Take your spreader and just spread that in. It's so easy, so easy, yeah. It's so easy, so easy, yeah. It's so easy, so easy, yeah. So easy, so easy. I'm not calling you, go away. Ozzy thought I was calling her because I was saying easy, but it sounded like Ozzy to her. That's funny. Okay, guys. And then we just do the same thing to the other half. And ready for the oven. Okay, guys. Now, this is going to go into the oven at 350 degrees for about 10, 15 minutes until it's just beginning to golden up on the top and get a little bit bubbly. I think our bread's ready to come out. Ha <laughs> yes. Look at that. Beautiful. And see, that's exactly what we want, you guys. Okay, so this was in there about 15 minutes. And we've got the edges beginning to golden up for us. And that has bubbled and beginning to get a little bit crispy across the top of that butter, right? That's what we want because when we add our cheese, we don't want everything to be soggy underneath, okay? So, all right, now guys, in our cheese bowl here, we have a bag of mozzarella provolone blend, and then we have another bag of a five blend, five Italian cheese blend, and then one cup of cheddar cheese, okay? And all of that was already the grated kind. Okay, let's see here. 
like it all the way to the edges. And I like to make sure, guys, when I'm doing this, that I have it all the way to the edges, even on the ends. Because otherwise, nobody wants to have that end piece. <laughs> all right. And we'll just save the rest of that blend because that is going to work for a multitude of things. So I'm not concerned about having cheese left over. Okay? Because I can put that back in the fridge. All right. Now... This is ready. It's going to go back into our 350 oven for about 10, 10 to 15 minutes again until it's all the way melted, beginning to bubble, and beginning to get those beautiful little bits of golden brown bubbles across the top. Okay, guys. Now, it did almost 20 minutes to achieve this, but let me talk to you about this for a second. Because you might be saying to yourself, now, why didn't we just do this under the broiler? Because I know Lindsay asked me that same question. And the answer is this. You know how sometimes you get cheesy bread or cheesy garlic bread and you bite down in it and it's almost like you're biting through raw dough until you get to the very bottom and in the crust. I don't like that. I don't like biting in it and it just tastes raw to me. So this method is going to alleviate that problem for you because you're baking it instead of boiling it, so all of that gets done all the way through and up into the top of the cheese. And then what you are left with, if I can handle this because it's really, really hot, is this beautiful piece of cheesy garlic bread like this, where you've got it nice and golden brown, but the cheese is also done through it that lovely cheese in there throughout too. So you've got the done bread and then that beautiful golden brown cheese across the top. Yum. And there you have it guys. Easy homemade cheesy garlic bread. Again, one of our basics. Hope you enjoy it. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do that for us. It's helping us out so much. And we are having so much fun bringing these wonderful family recipes and even some new things to you from our house to yours. And we'll see you next time, you guys, on Things Tina Does.